So here's a quick update on the uh, DIY mini front loader. I figured this would be a good shot, good time to make a video today because I'm, I'm logging and I'm pulling some pretty big stuff with it. I have been, actually I've pulled bigger stuff than this. So this is a really impressive tractor actually. I'm, I'm really surprised it's pulling these logs. That's a 14 footer there, um, about two feet, maybe maybe 20 inches in diameter so it's pretty heavy uh anyway i'm making this video because damn mosquitoes a while back probably a few weeks ago i bent it um my original design if you're following me if you're following my channel if you're following uh the build uh you know what it looked like before with the uh really skinny you know pipe stock tube stock I didn't have huge intentions of lifting massive heavy things with this, but it turned out I ended up lifting a log and uh, it lifted it, but I didn't notice till the next day that I had bent these. I tweaked these a little bit. So I ended up uh, pushing it down or getting the front end up in the air. So I pushed this down so, you know, so it picked the front end up and then I, I beat the hell out of it with a sledgehammer. And I went and welded some plate that I had on the sides, along the sides of this. And I put another little plate um, coming this way, you know, welded to that. I stick welded it all. A little better on my welds this time. <laughs> oh, these mosquitoes are driving me nuts over here. Anyway, yeah, and uh, now it's working out pretty good. So originally... I didn't, I, w I had a suspicion, but I didn't really know that this tractor, the rear end on it, the, in the front, or the, what was the lift system on the deck, runs off the same hydraulic pump, and that hydraulic pump puts out 2,000 or 2,500 PSI, so there's a pressure relief for the, uh, for the deck hydraulic cylinder, which, you know, I've tapped this into instead. And then there's a pressure relief for the rear hydraulics. And I turned up the pressure, because this, this only had 500 PSI going to it originally, and it was kind of weak, and it wouldn't lift a lot of things. I mean, it, it would kind of lift, uh, I would say, three 400 pounds, but, you know, it wouldn't lift any more than that, and it would lift it slow, too. So when I turned that up, that's when, that's when shit got real, and, uh, you know, I ended up bending it. So, with the reinforcement now, oh, I put in some more cross members too. Here, I don't think I had that one. I think I did have that one. I don't think I had that one. Um, you know, which has helped substantially. But this design is actually, I, I wish I would have thought about it before I built this. Be, I, this design is great with the single cylinder. Everything's working out really good. The cylinder has more than enough ass to lift you know a car if i needed to um other things would break but you know and i i don't doubt that i could lift a car with this you know the back end of one or one side of one but yeah the front axles are my weakness the tractor is a two-wheel drive but this being a hydraulic drive i i thought about it and it goes just as fast in reverse as it does forward you know you just move this lever you're moving no safeties, no seat switch, nothing like that. I like it. So, ideally, what I'm going to do is take the front loader off the front and make it a reverse, um, you know, run it off the back. And I'm going to take the seat and mount it up here, basically. Straighten the steering wheel, you know, and raise that up. So, I'll basically be driving it in reverse, kind of like a forklift. And that will greatly, greatly improve its capability. Basically, the rear axle on this and on a lot of tractors, this is really thick and capable. I'm not, you know, I could easily lift a thousand pounds on this rear axle and probably not even, you know, push it. <laughs> also, if you're lifting off the back, instead of the front all your weight 
is going over your rear tires. Therefore, you will get more traction. You know, um, if you lift a heavy load off the front of this, it's picking up your back tires and you're getting less traction. So if you're building one of these, if you're watching videos contemplating building one of these, uh, try to do it reverse. Do it off the back. You know, I would say you don't have to turn your seat around and all that. You can just back up to things, but I think that would be substantially, substantially better. And that's ultimately what I'm going to do. And that'll get me pretty close to Bobcat lift capabilities, almost, you know, like a small Bobcat, but um, maybe three quarters. Anyway, I wanted to make this little update. Everything else is going good. Yeah, like I said, I ended up bending these. Other than that, though, nothing else is really break broken. Um, I'm surprised these cross members are still holding because these guys take a lot of load and I want to put plates on those but yeah everything is, is is going really good I'm really surprised with the uh loader capabilities and this while I'm at it is also my DIY sawmill that I built I didn't know I was going to build it when I built this thing but I'm like eh, why the hell not I have the stuff for it and it's working pretty good but that's what's got me pulling logs with this thing um, I made it out of some bike tires I've been working on it the last few weeks I got to make a video exclusively on this but yeah it's working really good I've uh, milled probably four trees with it so far pine trees and uh, some locusts you know I got a inch and a quarter or inch and an eighth blade uh, two TPI um, I got a Harbor Freight well, a 212 uh, Predator engine, I think that's what it is. It came on a free pressure washer I grabbed off the side of the road. I got a belt drive on it, 4-inch pulley here, 8-inch pulley down there. And I designed this little uh, clutch, so to speak. So this snaps in like that, and you're engaged, and you're rocking and rolling. It works pretty good, and I got it on these skateboard wheels. So it's, you know, so it rolls across these tracks. And then it just cuts the log as it rolls. I'll make a video about it, but I figured since it was in the shot, you guys, some of you might be interested and curious about it. So I figured I'd mention it. But yeah, the uh, mini front loader's good. Definitely going to reverse it, though. The whole moral of, of the story, basically, is I'm going to, I'm going to reverse it and uh, if you're building one maybe you should consider doing that too and pick up a heavier duty garden tractor you know maybe not a like I was saying my camera cut out because of an update hijacked the screen but yeah do try to find a garden tractor a hydraulic drive garden tractor then it'll be really simple you can pick one of these up cheap especially if you're patient you check every day um, John Deere makes a few of these. There's Case. There's Case's uh, 446 is a really good platform to make one of these on. Probably your heavier duty than this. Uh, New Holland. I have a New Holland S12 that would work perfect for this. Um, yeah, try to make sure it's a hydraulic drive be, or in, with hydraulic lift on the deck because then you can just tee in like I did and you don't have to worry about a hydraulic pump and plumbing that in and Plus the the riding lawnmowers, you know the the ones you get nowadays, uh, they're a joke, man. As as far as uh, how heavy duty they are, yeah, they can barely support a human in a mower deck. So you definitely want something heavier duty, you know, like that. That's a brick shit house of a rear axle. So yeah, hope this helps. Hope this is inspiring. Um, good luck with your build if you do intend on doing that. Thanks for tuning in. You know, I'm always releasing more stuff. Like I said, I'm going to make a video on this guy too. So uh, subscribe if you feel like it or if you get anything from my channel. And give me a thumbs up if you kid. Thanks, guys.